federal government has expressed satisfaction with the efforts made by the Nasarawa state government to boost investment opportunities in the state. Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo made this known at a two-day Nasarawa Investment Summit held in Lafia, the state capital. The summit was also attended by former president of Ghana, John Mahama, president of Dangote Group, Aliko Dangote, and other well-meaning Nigerians. Golden Aguam reports. Echoes of the more talked about Nasara Investment Summit in Lafia. Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, former president of Ghana, John Mahama, president of Dangote Groups, Aliko Dangote, and other well meaning Nigerians are gathered here. The aim of the summit is to showcase the potential investors, the investment opportunities in the state. The state government believes this would be achieved through the various sections of the summit. The summit is therefore aimed at positioning Nasara State in the investment destination among the three top most competitive states in Nigeria, inshallah, by the year 2023. It is also aimed at promoting investment opportunities and fostering synergy as well as partnerships between government institutions and the private sector who are critical players in the socio-economic development of our own society. The federal government attests that a collaboration has begun with the state government to maximize its investment opportunities. The range of available minerals is quite impressive. Coal, clay, lead, zinc, gemstone, silica, granite, tantalite, marble, limestone, etc. So many and such a huge range, and which is why it is rightly described as the home of solid minerals. But the effort required must involve a deliberate collaboration with the federal government. That cooperation has started with the state working closely on enforcement of regulations with the Ministry of Mines and Steel. Other business tycoons and economic experts believe that Nasarawa has what it takes to be on the global map of investment destinations. I wish to state that Nasarawa State is moving in the right direction. I commend Governor Suli and his team for all the structures you have put in place. I say with confidence that Nasarawa State has in place all the three requirements that promises to guarantee the attainment of the goals of this summit. First, I can claim with all humility that the state has the leadership with the vision and commitment to achieve it. This summit will translate to a growth in the economy of the state and expand its revenue sources. Godwin, Agua, TVC News, Lafayette.